everyone, Dave here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to scandalize the bushcraft scene by giving you a bunch of reasons to not buy the Mora Garberg. I keep seeing videos and people talking about how it's like the greatest budget bushcraft knife ever and all of this stuff. So um, in this video I'm going to try to change the opinion on that knife. And this video has nothing to do with the knifeness, the goodness of the Mora Garberg. Uh, as a knife, it's a perfectly fine knife for bushcraft and as a companion knife and hiking and all of that sort of thing. It's knifeness is not in question here. And Mora is a good company and I have a lot of Moras. Regardless, there are a few key points to why I don't think you should buy a Mora Garberg. But I don't know, maybe you will anyways. Point number one, I don't think it's a budget knife. It's, well, it isn't a budget knife. Realistically, it's like upper mid-range knife now, you know, over a hundred dollars Canadian. Well, might even be 130 depending on what options you get. I've seen prices at like 150. Um, that's a that's a steep ask for the knife and the materials it's made out of. So you can pick up one of these guys which is, um, this is a Baco knife but it's made by Mora. Uh, basically a Mora clipper, a Mora companion. Here's a Mora companion. This is the carbon steel version plastic sheaths, you know, kind of plastic handles. It's got the rat tang. These guys you can easily find for around $20 Canadian. You might even be able to find it cheaper. And you can definitely find Mora Craftline, the 511 models, for around $15 to $20. You could also get a Haltafor's heavy duty knife that's three mil thick for about $16 to $20 Canadian. These are all Canadian prices, I'm Canadian. So therefore it's Canadian dollars we're talking. All of these knives will do 99.9% .9 of the jobs that the Mora Garberg will do. I think the Mora Garberg full tang knife thing is a little bit overhyped. I don't really see it being able to do much more than what these knives can offer. And you know, this is at like the fourth of the price. A quarter will cost you this. Like you could literally buy one of these a Haltafor's hatchet and like a silky gomboy for the same price as one Garber. Ultimately, I don't think it's a, a budget knife, to be honest. Uh, maybe it was when it first was released, but at right now, it's not a budget knife. That's one of the main reasons I really do think it's overpriced and I'm not knocking the knife, it's knifeness or more in general. I think that they hit a niche market really well, did good marketing and got people to overpay for a knife. Um, that's kind of how I feel. You know, you could also get the Condor Pterosaur, which is like the same steel 1095 for like $60. Um, and that's basically a ripoff Mora Garberg for half the price. Um, obviously Condor's quality is slightly lower than Mora, but Mora also like, they're not perfect all the time either. I've had misgrinds on my Mora knives too. So it, yeah, it's, it's hard to justify the price of the Mora Garberg. Furthermore, for the price of the Mora Garberg, I'm going to show you, I don't know, maybe eight knives that are in the similar price range that I think are better. One thing that I don't really like about the Garberg is that it does come with a, a, still a plastic handle, plastic sheath, unless you get like the leather sheath, which, okay, cool, they did the leather sheath, but um, it's a plastic handle and I, I understand that there's like reasons for plastic. Woo, plastic, woo! It's so light! <laughs> I guess, like, you know, it's lighter and maybe, like, the coldness it's won't so get to your hands and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I guess people really like plastic. But um, I do, th you know, hey, Mora, there's this material called micarta and G10 and, you know, wood and stuff. <laughs> you know, you could put liners and, like, do something else a little bit <laughs> with your knives instead of just, you know, whatever they do to get those plastic handles on their knives. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take you to the log and show you a few knives in the same price range that I think are better quality. You get better stuff for the price, basically. So what do we have here? We got a bunch of Spanish knives. We got two companies and also a Finnish knife and Condor Bushlore, which I probably wouldn't recommend, I would at least recommend that out of this lineup. So uh, let's go through them. This guy here, this is the Nieto Tirano. It's a great belt knife. Full flat grind or Scandi grind. You got blue liners, curly birch. Uh, this is a great belt knife. 
Kephart style. You got the dangler option with the belt loop option, stitched leather back here. Nice high quality leather. I've had this guy for about two years. It's a great knife. N690 steel, stainless steel. Depending what you're using it for, you could say that's a higher quality steel than 14C28N. Next up we have five Joker knives. We have the Ember, the Nordico, Nesmuk, Nomad, and the Campero. Four of these come with 14C28N. You got leather dangler sheaths with fire loops that match. They actually come with fire. You can get uh, the ferro rod that matches the handle. Um, they have really sick handles with the Joker knives. You know, you got nice linen micarta on the Campero. You got a nice micarta on the Nomad. This is a N695 steel. It's a thick beast. This is like a stainless uh, Becker B BK2, basically. You got a staghorn handle on the Nesmuk, and that's a 14C28N. That's a fun, unique knife. <clears throat> you got on the Nordico, you have some really beautiful curly birch handles with the N, uh, sorry, with the uh, 14C28N. And all of these come with nice leather sheaths. Options to have the fire steel or not. You, it's cheaper if you don't get the fire loop. And you also have, um, I got this, this is a Finnish Puko, this is a Kellum Puko, but you can get Ati Pukos on Laminia.com for around $60, $70 Canadian. And they're traditional Pukos with uh, curly birch handles. And you know, it's a rat tang, so it's not gonna be as durable as the Garberg, but it's gonna be a better carving knife. They do have a uh, little bit nicer grinds, um, very, very slicey blades, and the handles are nice and thick. Uh, perfect carving knives, the Pucos. What we have here is the competition. We have nice, really nice micarta handles with liners, really nice curly birch handles with liners in them, you know, walnut, olive wood, staghorn. Um, yeah, the Spanish knives are really cool. I really like the Nieto and the Joker. You also got, what else, what are the other Spanish ones? You got Kudmin, I think, and maybe Castrum and Mula, maybe. There's a few Spanish knives, that, knife companies that have similar quality and material, and you can go take a peek. The Joker knives seem to be the most available on Amazon, and depending which model you get, like at the Nordico, uh, might be about a hundred bucks and you know the nomad it might be pushing the 150 if you get the ferro rod one um, so this is a bit of a in the price range of the mora garberg and you get full tangs you get beautiful handles uh, handles of your choice leather quality leather sheaths with dangler options or belt loop options um, you can you can't go wrong i really do recommend that pretty much anyone pick up a joker of their favorite style <laughs> and uh, the Nieto Tirano is a pretty pretty sweet knife too if you're into it. So to round off this video, Mora Garberg, reasons why you shouldn't buy it, I think it's a little overpriced to be honest. I think there's better budget options that Mora provide. There's a huge lineup of Mora knives that I think are better budget options. They will do 99.9% .9 of the work that a Mora Garberg would, and they also come with plastic handles for all of you people who love plastic handles. And if you don't love plastic handles, then I highly recommend you look at Joker knives or Nieto knives or some of the other Spanish knives that come in the same price range. You might pay $20 more, $20 less, depending where and when you buy them, but you get leather, micarta, G10, curly birch handles, staghorn handles, the variety is almost endless and you know joker lineup they've got like every single style that you can think of they're a little bit more robust they're 3.7 millimeters thick um the nomad is like five but it's got a convex grind which is cool and it's got a you know some of them have high saber grinds flat grinds you know the campero is a beautiful flat grind i absolutely love that design it's a knockout design 14c 28n so you're not missing out on the steel O2 if you want carbon and same with the Nieto Tirano it also comes in O2 and it also has a Scandi version of that knife it has blue and white liners uh, it's about 123 Canadian on lamnian.com so honestly I do think the Mora Garberg is a good knife uh, it might not be like the, a great knife because I don't 
think it can do all bushcraft tasks, um, particularly light chopping. I do like my belt knife to be able to do some light chopping to knock off little, you know, suckers and limbs off of uh, branches instead of having to grab my axe. I do like that on my belt knife, the capability of that. Um, I don't think it has the weight necessarily for that task. I'm not saying that the Mora Garberg's garbage and uh, sucks as a knife. It might not be able to do all of the tasks, but it's it's a great companion knife. But you know what else is a great companion knife? The Mora Companion. <laughs> so I would like to know whether you agree or disagree with me in the comments below. Give me your feedback on this. Am I just crazy and think the Mora Garberg is overpriced and because of the plastic handle that Mora should be upping their game and stepping into the micarta, maybe some G10? How sick would that be if Mora released a knife that had micarta and G10 on it? I think people would die. <laughs> they would give them heart attacks. They'd be so happy. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you think I'm knocking the Mora Garberg a bit too hard or do you think I'm being realistic? I mean, there's some pretty damn good options between $100 and $150 for belt knives. I could go on and on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, like, subscribe, all of those things. Notify and I will see you on the next video and you will not see the Mora Garberg on my channel. Take care.